For the past couple of years, I've been working the night shift at a local factory. Every night I walk to work, then for eight to 12 hours, I do the same repetitive task while daydreaming about the photography projects I'd rather be doing. Even if I still have some energy left in the morning, time is just never on my side. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, coronavirus becomes a worldwide pandemic. Oh, no. Society's in a panic. No. No, 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 no. I'm on my last roll of toilet paper. <laughs> no. And the factory I work at temporarily closed down. All of a sudden, I'm gifted with all the free time in the world. I'm sure you can guess what I did with it. Yep. Animal freaking crossing. This game has everything. You can catch bugs. You can harass your neighbors. You can hang out at the local pub and have sophisticated conversations with your friends. And I even made an office where I can film my Photoshop tutorials. After spending 80% of my time playing for months straight, I began to miss photography, and it started to show. I just wasn't feeling inspired to shoot anything specific. I've got an idea. Now that I'm feeling inspired, I'm gonna dive right in. See if you can guess what I'm making. Well, if this isn't a dead giveaway, then I don't know what is. I'm making a balloon gift prop. I'll be using it as the main subject in my next Photoshop project. So my next step is to copy the knot at the bottom of the balloon, just like Nintendo has. Uh, the real one isn't nearly big enough, so I'm going to make one. Don't need that. I'm just going to use this. That looks just like Nintendo has it in the picture. So I'm gonna cut the top off of this and put it on here. It'll look something like this. There we go. Surprise! <laughs> I think that's it. So the next step is to shoot our background and then light this in a similar way and put the two together in Photoshop. So for today's shoot, I'm gonna be shooting from an elevated perspective. I'm using a drone to do that because we're gonna be looking down from the balloon present at the city below. Now that we got a background photo that we're happy with, I'm gonna adjust the settings in Adobe Camera Raw. 
I want there to be detail everywhere and have it be a little bit less contrasty than the foreground. And now something that I do on every image that I work on, I go to the Tone Curve tab and I adjust the sliders to make the highlights and shadows look their best. <laughs> oh, hey. Now that we've shot our elevated background picture, I've gone ahead and set the studio lighting up for our foreground picture. This is light number one. I have it set up on a low angle so that the reflection on the balloon shows up at the right point, and that way it looks like the sun setting in the background. And this over here? I set up a plank of wood so it would block the light out from the lens. Lights number two and three are pointed at the ceiling and set to a lesser power to imitate our sky. I've also used this reflector and that reflector set up in front of distracting elements that would show up in the reflection of the balloon. Now that I've got most of what I need, I'm just gonna do a few free-handed shots. happy with how this came out. Just one thing, when you zoom in you can still see several reflections from around the room. I've got just the solution. We're going to make a selection around each of the reflections and details we want to remove, then press shift and backspace, or delete if you're on a Mac. This will bring up a window titled fill. Make sure content aware is in the box at the top and click OK. Now Photoshop will remove what's inside of your selection while referencing the details around the perimeter. I'm going to repeat this a few times and polish this bad boy up. This next step is so satisfying. Since I built the box out of foam core, I want to make it look like one cohesive piece. By pressing the S key, I'm selecting the clone brush. We can use this to hide all the edges of the foam core. To define the clone area, press the Alt key or Option on a Mac and click the area you want to sample from. If I sample from an area in the middle of the box, I can easily cover up the edge with that data. I can use the same technique on the corners too. Now that it's looking super schnazzy, we're ready to plop it into the background. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Whoa, that looks good in front of the sun. Yeah! Okay! So now that our balloon is placed, I'm going to go back to using our trusty clone brush. I'm going to sample inside of the balloon and start painting over top of the knot area to make it look like it's more of the same tone as our actual balloon. Now just a few color and tone adjustments. And some dodging to emphasize the light on top of the balloon. Now to truly add the wow factor, we need to bring that sun flare in front of the balloon too. I start by dodging that area around the balloon. Then I select the same shade of yellow as the other rays of light, and simply paint some more rays with the brush tool. I do my best to match the same characteristics as the natural one. Then I duplicate the ones I made and spin them around to add more angles. And now, just one last sweep of cleaning up the distracting elements, as well as a few color adjustments, and that's it! I present to you my newest piece, New Horizons. Well, what started out feeling like procrastination wound up giving me the inspiration to make this video. You never know when inspiration's gonna hit, but when it does, sometimes you just have to run with it. If you found this video inspiring, I've got news for you. 
Today I'm launching my Patreon page where I'll be posting exclusive content from this video. By donating $7 a month, you can access my full Photoshop videos, behind the scenes and upcoming content, and best of all, you can access my files so you can follow along with what I'm doing in Photoshop. I'll also be releasing several retouched and cut out balloon present PNG files. That way you don't have to make your own. If you have a picture from an elevated perspective, you can easily just drag this into the background and make your own art with it. And if this video hits 200 likes in the next week, I'll release three retouched and cut out balloon present PNG files in a public post on my Patreon page, absolutely free. So if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. We'll see you at the next one.